Hi and welcome to a new part of this series. Um, this video will complement shooting in Tarmi. So we will begin by uh, implementing a new gesture recognizer, and this time we will implement a swipe recognizer. So uh, in your reloaded load method, underneath the uh, well, underneath where we implement our tap recognizer. Type UI swipe gesture recognizer pointer to a swipe gesture recognizer equals UI swipe gesture recognizer alloc in it the target oh, the target self and action and selector shoot and now um, so the swipe recognizer has um, well it has a, a direction and the default direction is to swipe right but we want uh, to change this direction to swipe up so that's quite simple just to swipe recognizer so our new variable and dot direction equals UI swipe is recognized the direction up. And now, so now it will only uh, call this method shoot, which we still have to create when we swipe up. Now we only we have to add this to our to our view. So cell dot view add history recognizer and swipe history recognizer. Okay, now underneath our change location, our change rocket location, just do void, void name is shoot, and UI swipe recognizer gesture recognizer, and it's a pointer, I'm sorry. And not to demonstrate it, just to NS log and just to like test. And now, as you can see, every time we swipe up, it registers. Now you still can, oh, let's click and our, and our rocket will move. Now, uh, for the shooting part, uh, I have this, this ball texture. So you just uh, drag this into your resources. I make sure sure this is selected. So copy items into. Okay, now we have to load our texture, and we can do that the same way we do. We did our um, we did our rocket, and we will probably implement this into the class itself in a later video. But for now, just so just copy and paste this, change this to ball.png, and in this reference ball, extra info ball, and well, actually. And do it like, uh, yeah, do it like this. And hmm. and then yes. So well, actually, we should implement a little bit later. So for now, just. We don't need the image reference. We only need one image reference. So, all right, fine. To keep it simple, I'll just take this and oh, and I'll paste this into the shoot method. So like this. I make sure to this image reference ball. So now, and now we simply 
we create a new sprite, so the sprite ball ball equals uh, yeah, so ball equals um, sprite alloc init with effect self dot base effect and then we simply can do ball dot texture info equals texture info ball and ball dot position equals self dot player rocket dot position so that way the ball always starts at the at our uh, at our player rocket now we have to we have to we have to create an array where we shall store all of our balls. So uh, in your private section, type ls mutable array and a mutable array is simply an array that can change in size and colors balls. And now I have to initialize this array. And we can do that for now in the in the unit load method. As we build array. Oh, damn it! There's two balls equals ns mutable array. Unlock in it the capacity and just do twenty. That's a uh, it's not the. This is a starter, and it's like the starter capacity. It's it still can change, but uh, yeah, it's like a tip for the array. This can grow. Okay, now and then what we do is we do balls balls add object ball. And we actually have set the but we already implement velocity into our we don't have velocity. Okay, so let's implement then velocity. So just create a new property. So in your sprite.h property assign glk vector to velocity velocity and in the update so nil position equals uh, glk vector two and self dot position with self dot velocity. So now we basically can our uh, so if our velocity is set, our our position will change every time we update. So every time we call our, our, our update method. Okay, so now let's set the velocity and do like one for now. So ball dot velocity. And we only want our ball to move up, so ball velocity equals uh, glk vector to make. So zero on the x and do like five on the or one for now, one on the y. Okay, so now we have to actually render our, all of our balls and that's quite simple so we'll just create a for loop in our in our uh, glk view draw a rec method and then type for and it's it's a little bit special for so just type um, sprite sprite pointer to ball in balls and then we're going to render every ball so ball render so what this basically does it it loops through all of the sprite objects in the uh, in the balls array so you can just just then copy and paste this into the update and just change this to update update now one more Thing we forgot to do is uh, go into your spiral.m file in the render method and take this glk function and this really should be in a 
should be, oh sorry, in our, in our uh, draw and ref method, we only have to clear our screen once every frame. And on this, and now when we swipe up, our rocket shoots a ball. And it keeps adding a ball center a couple of problems at the moment. The first of our our uh, our view that our view controller blur out file is kind of messy. So we should clean this and um, these balls will just keep adding up and and we should eventually delete them so when they move off screen or when they hit the target but that's for next video. Uh, for now we should um, one thing, uh, the position, maybe do like uh, GLK vector 2 and solve that position with um, GLK vector 2 make like 0 on the x and like uh, square size divided by 2 on the Y, okay, like this, and now uh, should be a lot nicer. Okay, so as you can see, maybe a little bit more, maybe like um, maybe just like this. Just too much multiplied by 0 0.8 all better okay and maybe like it has a speed like 10 and that's cool so now we can move our rocket and if we swipe up we can shoot a ball so that's pretty that's pretty cool Okay, so that was it for today. See you next time. Bye.